Hi guys, a very warm welcome from Arjati Creations. Today we are starting a brand new project. In this we will be creating a beautiful glass painting. For creating this glass painting, you can either use a glass or you can use an OHP sheet or an acrylic sheet, whatever is available with you. Now here I am using an acrylic sheet and I will also be making one project on glass. So the dimensions of this uh, sheet are 26 cm by 31 cm. So it is 31 cm length, 26 cm width. And in this we will be creating this beautiful flamingo pattern. Now this particular flamingo pattern is available on my page. You can easily download it from the page Arjati Creations on FB. Now we will be needing glass colors for this glass colors come with a glass liner so glass liner tube comes in the packet so this is the glass liner tube that comes with it you can either go in for a fabric grill packet which has a glass liner and water based glass colors or you can go in for the Campbell pla packet of glass colors these are solvent glass colors so in this also you get a glass liner so you can go in for either of these packets so for convenience i have filled the glass liner in a cone okay this helps us to keep the consistency of the thickness of each line similar so just uh, remove the content into a cone now cone you can make with any cellophane sheet or plastic sheet even milk packets are fine so let us now start so let me keep my a sheet horizontally so that it is more convenient to do the lining work now we are going to start our lining work you can start your lining work from one end now especially be careful at the points where the lines are touching each other so that there are no gaps when we so that when we fill up the glass colors the glass colors don't flow out
so here i'm just drawing random lines so that we can give a border in the edge be really careful when you're handling this because this takes a little time to dry up so like this now i have made the complete design i'm going to let this dry up completely before we start doing our color into it so see guys now the um, uh, the lining has completely dried up you can pass on your hand on top and once it is completely dried only after that start filling in color in this okay so now keep it on a flat surface i'm be using my uh, water based color so i'm using my fabricryl glass water based colors this has approximately 10 colors and we are going to mix them so what is really important is how we are going to be mixing and how we are we going to be creating the hue so the first color that we'll be taking is a shade of white and we'll be taking a shade of sky blue and we'll be mixing them to create a beautiful sky color here first and the foremost let us start with our white so what is really important here is that whenever you are doing it there should not be any bubbles otherwise the bubbles will be visible okay now we are going to give light blue this is sky blue now keep a toothpick handy So if you feel that the color is very light, so just add a little bit of blue into it. Okay, now here also we will have blue. So a lot of patience you will need to fill them up because bubbles do keep coming. Okay, so we have to be careful. So we are going to keep doing our sky first. Now I'm just adding white here. In this part also. Okay, now let us check where else we can put blue. So slowly the white is going to mix in. Now the rest we are going to be doing brown. Okay, so let us do brown also. So there is a shade in this which comes by the name of um, brown. Okay, so brown is going to be the ground color here. So little bit of it I am going to do dark brown. So now we start with brown. Now when you are doing this be very careful that the color doesn't really merge into the blue. Okay, this is going to be blue I am sorry so I am going to just remove it. So if you have to remove it just dab your tissue and remove your color completely. And I am going to have brown here also. And we are going to have brown here. Now here towards the lower side what we are going to do is we are going to take the shade of yellow and I am going to mix the yellow and the brown. Okay, so just remove the bubbles. Now we come to the lower part. Let us now uh, let me straighten it so it is uh, it is easier for us to now see. 
so now we have done this here the water part starts but there is a little part of the land also which we are going to be showing so for the land part i'll do little bit of yellow and we are going to blend in brown into it. standing in shallow water so this is just representing the beach part now i'm going to do off the bubbles in the end i'm going to just going to remove them So now we have done the uh, beach part also. Now first we are going to do the water. Now, now here we are not going to do plain water. We are going to do sea blue. So for that we will be using a green. We will be using the sea blue. And we will be using white. So we will be using three shades to create. So use the sky blue here. Use a lot of white. You need a lot of white for this. So this is all going to be watery shade. This part will be a little darker and the lower part will be lighter. So let us start with the lower part here. Now we are going to do first we are going to start with blue. So first let us start blending it in. Okay, so there are some places in between where we'll still need to uh, put our color which we've in the corners. So we have kind of done, only this part is left where I'm not putting white in the base and I'm going to be doing a darker shade of blue and grey. So this way we've done our part. Little bit tidbits are maybe left. We'll see that in the end. So now let us start doing our leaves on the top is what we are going to start first. So I'm going to rearrange it now. So here we'll be doing the leaves. For that we'll be using our shade of green and uh, yellow. Okay, so this way we've done our green on top. Now we are going to do our leaves on the side as well. Okay, so just keep your, okay, now little bit of blue is left here. Now little bit of blue is left here. Okay, now comes the leaves. So there are a lot of leaves here wherever you have your leaves we are first going to do our green too many bubbles tend to come in the green so we have to be 
really careful about it now for those greens which are very close to the water and we won't be able to make out the difference we are going to really increase the component of yellow with a dot of green in it okay and just blend it light yellow color ka leaf hum banayenge and this we are doing on purpose because we don't want it to get blended with the sea green water that we are creating now same is this side so we've done our uh, leaves also now let us start with our flowers now for doing our flowers let us start now here i'll be doing shades of orange and yellow and we'll also add some pink flowers to this now take your orange shade so just blend it and create this beautiful flower and take red okay. we can give a tinge of red also on the edges Okay, so this way we've done our first flower, and I think it's really looking nice. Now, first we'll do this flower, which is matching the same. So again, we are left with one leaf here also so this is going to be green okay so now we've done our first flowers and i think it's really looking nice the first two flowers now we'll also do our this flower this flower we'll do it in yellow shades of yellow red and orange Yep. Yeah. So this way we've done our flower here also. Now since these are smaller flowers I'm only using two colors of orange and yellow. Now this way I'm going to do these flowers. Now we are going to first do the flamingo so that we can balance our colors. For doing the flamingo we need a red a white and we need our pink so these are the three colors we will need for the flamingo first for the flamingo legs we are going to start with the legs of the flamingo so just blend it it's going to be a light baby pink the legs 
Okay, so we've done this baby pink. So this bit, this part. Now comes the body. In certain parts, it's going to be a little darkish. So we are going to use reddish. See, these parts are below the wings, uh, the feathers. So that is the reason why this part is a little darker. So just blend more of red and less of um, pink like this. So it becomes a little darker to give it the depth. In the same way, certain parts of the first are going to have this. But let us first put color here. So majority it's going to be pinkish. But we are going to add a lot of white to this. So let us add reddish on the edges. And it's going to have a lot of white. And now we are going to blend it in. So blend it in completely to create that beautiful baby pink. Now in the same way we are going to be doing the wings on top so here on the wings on top the white component will be more okay pink is going to be there but it's not going to have any red on it so this shading is really important to give the desired look to your painting so shading your colors properly using your glass colors is very very important so this way see we have created a gradation in the wings now comes the beak so the beak part is more white very very less so here it's going to be white the eye part is also white and the face part will have a little darker shade so it will have lesser white same goes with the neck now in this first we will go for pink and this part is also going to have a shade of red So this way we've done our flamingo. Isn't the flamingo looking nice now? So we've done the complete flamingo. Now we are going to first do the topmost border so that we can do the flowers below. So just hold it and I'm going to finish the top thing. So for this we'll be using a shade of brown. So this way we've done this outside. Now we are left with few flowers and the outside part. Let us uh, do this brown here also. Now let us do these flowers. So there are three flowers on this side and three flowers on that side. So we will be doing shades of pink here. Now we are going to be taking our pink. This being a tiny flower, we are only going to be using white and pink. Just turn it around and we are going to be doing similar in this part. Okay, I think I have forgotten my leaves. Now for the outermost layer here, we will do a shade of grey. So 
so this we are running in doing it in gray let me shift this so see how beautiful the line is looking now gray you can easily make by blending in white and black here then in this just drop very little shade of yellow this is going to be very pale yellow okay so pale yellow will look nice now the same thing i will do in the backdrop also now especially in the upper part in the lower part i am dropping little bit yellow and lot of white but in the lower part we are going to have shades of orange also mainly it will be shades of red now this is really important how we are creating the hues because it is a little difficult to create the hues in the glass colors so just keep blending it really well now comes this part now to this in this part especially the upper part it will be more of yellow and white Now the same way we are going to do it here also. now to just make our highlight the painting or to make it much lighter what i'm going to do is i'm going to just fill up pure white in this a little drop of yellow is what we'll give here now we're going to let it dry completely and i will show you the dried up version of the painting 